What happened to Trash Taste After Dark? Not much has happened to Trash Taste After Dark. You could say that very little has happened with Trash Taste After Dark. You're probably going to see this anyway. We just kind of laid out our plan for the coming year. And we you have a decision about what you want to spend your time making content on. In the ideal world, you know, I would have infinite time. I could work on my main channel, work on my streams, have Connor work on his streams as well, and uh, focus on every single type of content. Unfortunately, the real world doesn't really work like that. We had a decision about what we really wanted to spend our time focusing on when it came to like trash taste content next year. It's looking more like we would rather spend time on making more specials. I think we have more passion towards making cool specials uh, where we just go out and do stuff because After Dark is very, very fun, but it just takes a lot of effort because we all need to be there. If we make it consistent, we all need to consistently be there at the same time, which is really, really fucking hard. And all our staff members need to be there as well because we need more staff members than usual to run an After Dark stream. And we tried doing a long stream where we filmed or we streamed a bunch of ideas in one long stream. I don't think we were a big fan with how that translated into YouTube VODs because it kind of felt like if you're watching some of these ideas, you are missing part of the contents that happened earlier in stream. So it didn't feel like separate ideas. It still felt like one long stream that we were just cutting right down the middle. That was just like an experiment that didn't pan out like we wanted. After like talking through it, we decided we kind of just want to film more stuff outside. I think right now with the Red Flags episode that we did, we're trying to take some After Dark ideas and put it on the podcast channel. And we're trying to like, with the specials, we got a bunch of ideas that we're doing and we don't want to put the pressure on to make like a big special every time. And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I think you guys just enjoy seeing us do shit, even if it's not like a hour and a half special. We want to do more videos where it's just the three of us going out and doing stuff, even if it's like a 30 minute, 20 minute video. So that's kind of what we wanted to put the focus on for the coming year. Since we are kind of cutting out the tour, we're cutting out convention appearances, that's what the focus is gonna be on. So we get more time to free up to do special. So that's basically the long and the short of it. Yeah, After Dark's pretty similar energy to specials for me. Yeah, that's the plan. We'll let our content talk for ourselves. There's already some stuff filmed that you guys will be enjoying in the coming year for big specials. Yes, just sitting down with the three of you on the Trash Taste After Dark set is enough for us. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but also we wanna, we we want to make stuff that we're excited about. We enjoy streaming, but I think we all have a different kind of energy when it comes to streaming. Connor's very much the streamer. I'm a different kind of streamer where I kind of just like to do talk about anime, maybe play some JRPGs and stuff like that. We all enjoy streaming. I, th I think we all just have like different stream contents that we enjoy. You're a Genshin streamer. Okay. Okay. Call me out. Call me out. I'm a Genshin streamer. All right. I'm a Hoyaverse streamer. I, en I enjoy the Hoyaverse games. Just call me out.